Feedback loops are important in allowing living organisms to maintain homeostasis. With a negative feedback loop, you move above or below a set target. An example is found at your house with your thermostat. If it's set at 70 degrees Fahrenheit and the temperature gets above this, the air conditioner will turn on in order to cool the house. When it falls below 70 degrees, it will turn off. This will continue. An example in the human body is if your glucose levels get too high, then insulin will be released to lower it. And if your glucose levels get too low, then glucagon is released, which will raise the glucose levels. With a positive feedback loop or amplification, you move away from a target set point. For example, if the speed limit is 55, a positive feedback loop would see this speed limit as a challenge and would try to go much faster than the limit of 55. It would amplify the speed. An example is, during childbirth, contractions are triggered by the pressure from the head of the baby on the cervix. The contractions increase the pressure on the cervix, which causes more contractions, which in turn causes more pressure and more contractions. The contractions are amplified with this positive feedback. Thanks for watching and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.